In Ukraine, another calamity marks the night sky, another disaster in this war-torn state. But there's nothing typical about this. On February 10th, the Russians hit a fuel depot in the city of Kharkiv. A million gallons of diesel and gasoline poured into the streets, flowing like lava into a nearby neighborhood. 15 homes were set ablaze in a blistering river of fire. Tatiana Putetina lived at number 32 with her son Grigori and his family of five. The children were asleep. There were three of them, seven, four, and 10 months old. They just didn't have time to get out, to gather the children. Tatiana was visiting a relative on the night of the attack. Her loved ones had stayed at home. By nine in the morning, I'd already returned. When they were recovering the bodies, they didn't show them to me. They were so badly burned. Her son was a builder. His wife, Olna, worked at the prosecutor's office. They'd spent the past two years trying to keep their three boys safe. Oleksi was the oldest, with Mihailo in the middle. Pavlo was still a baby. Their grandmother led us inside the remains of their home. They found my son here. This is where he lay. It looks like he was looking for a way out. Here in the bathroom, that's where she was. Olna was holding two of the children close to her chest. This was Tetiana's home until a couple of weeks ago, but the structure is gone and so is her life, her life as she knows it. How do you come to terms with that? The funeral was held three days later, with Tetiana and other family members stricken with grief. Ten-month-old Pavlo was buried with his mother. But when these images were posted online, she was mocked by some. Russians, she said, accusing her of pretending. When we were mourning at the cemetery, I held the coffin. There were comments like, what an actress. She plays her role well. The fuel depot was still smoking long after the attack, and Kharkiv's streets were thick with a black, sticky residue. We saw workers trying to patch up the pipes, but there are things here that will never be repaired. The stench will linger for years. That smell will stay. And it has affected the atmosphere too, because there were huge clouds of smoke. It was terrible. More than 10,000 civilians have been killed since the beginning of the invasion, and more than 500 of those are children. It is the pitiless product of a senseless war. Of course it's hard. I come here every day, sometimes multiple times a day. I'll come here, walk around the house where they found their bodies. I'll shout, I'll cry, and then I'll leave. <laughs> it is a journey that she will continue to make, to make on her own. John Sparks, Sky News in Kharkiv.